Hello everyone, I am Mustang of Battlecore and the Core Knights. I know I've been away for a while, mostly due to me being a competitive player like some of you guys. I wanted to become better as a player, obtain my invite to Nationals, and also help my team become better as their coach. What I wanted to give, you, give to you guys are some of the lessons that I gave to everyone that I have taught in TCG. Some went on to become nationalists in other TCGs, and some surprised their friends or team members of their performance, which led them to new adventures in their careers. My teammates said that I should start making a course or some videos to help other players out there. So I guess this is my step forward in, you know, accommodating what, you know, they think I should do. So these lessons I have taught to players and my team may not be for everyone. With that being said, the first and most important lesson I want to teach you all now and probably every now and then moving forward is to be open minded. Not every advice may be for you or help, but it does not mean there will not come a time when that lesson and or skill may not be needed or be needed. Each video will be sort of short so you can retain what is being said, reflect and try to come up with your own interpretation or way of utilizing the advice. The videos are not in any order, so feel free to watch them any way you like as they are being released. Without further ado, here's the first lesson. The end of your story shows your beginning. The end of your story shows your beginning. That phrase means if you know how everything should end in your plans or ideals, then you should know how it begins. Let's talk Digimon for a moment, shall we? Regardless of what deck you have or what idea you have in mind for build, knowing how the end game will play out for you to win is very important, especially since playing the game to win is one of the objectives. Whether it is creating a board full of units near the end of the game to overtake the security count, using multiple single Digimon swings with extra security attacks, or setting up a hybrid finisher. Knowing the end of your game helps you set up your beginning. Your first two to three turns should be used to set up for just that end story result. If you need to board swarm for the end of the game, start preparing the memory tamers or the boosters and obtaining the Digimon combo to do so. If it is a hybrid finisher, make sure you have the necessary tamer out on the board and the adequate amount of attacks or security checks in route to open up the security for the hybrid. Of course, all of this sounds self-explanatory, but there have been countless players who either do not have an end game plan or they rely too much on the deck's natural carrying abilities to win them the game. A famous quote from Benjamin Franklin says, by failing to plan, you are preparing to fail. It is also similar to Winston Churchill who said, he who fails to plan is planning to fail. So regardless of how strong you are or how good a deck may seem, having a plan will not only allow you to have a clear focus on your objective, but also allow you to be extremely versatile when your plan does not work out. Because then you know how to manipulate information, reassess your plan, and make a better outcome for your game. Well, that is it for today. I'm going to leave you with one final micro tip. Heed the advice of others and take it into consideration. It may not be useful now, but it could help you later on in your life. I am Mustang Berserker of Battlecore and the Core Knights, and I will see you on the next one. Have a good day, everybody.
I hope the information that I've given you helps. If you want to take a moment to focus and to reflect on everything I just said, here's a sample from Sleepy Sav that he's given us so you guys can listen to it while you take that moment to reflect. 